Folks, we're here at the Big O Ranch and uh, drop the oil on my new rototiller. First five hours of use, you're supposed to drop it and put the, the, the second part to the two part series so we can uh, run it for about 50 hours now with no oil on it. I did this new garden, this can be my personal garden uh, because I'm, I got a lot of wildlife here. You can see one of my deer skin from this year and the rack. Got Trigger checking out the birds. Trigger, don't be aggravating them. You feel me? Ah, they're not out in the yard. Trigger, look at him. He kills him. He loves my birds. See what they're doing. Look, 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 look. Oh, they're all roosting in there. Look at them. Look, 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 look. Oh, my booger. See those big fat meat chickens, Hannah? Big white ones. Look how lazy. They lay there and eat. That's why they're obese. But I'm going to take them out of the herd, out of the flock, if you will, about two weeks. Chill, Trigger. Chill, I'm just talking to the birds, man. Chill. Look at that one over there on the roost there. Chilling. Chilling like a villain. Oh, we got one down here on the roosting bars. Yeah, they, they digging it. Get your tail out of there. What you doing, son? Get up in here. Come on. Out. Out. Good boy. Okay, so I wanted to show you this this uh, 209 cc color engine on this rototiller. It's, it's a bad mamma jamma. But more importantly, I'm going to show you how I'm setting this wildlife garden up. My farmer friend Doug down the road tilled it for me, and I'm just putting the seed in today. So I've got six, six rows of corn. Um, wow, they're like it's like 130 feet. That's a lot of corn, and that corn grows really tall. So, got corn on the outside. I'm starting my sunflower rows here to about, I don't know, another 10 feet. I'm going to stop there because I got 12 pounds of seed coming in. Mix and match sorghum, soybean, millet, uh, dwarf corn. What else do I got? Another legume in there somewhere. Anyway, so uh, I want to show you how this... This rototiller works really. It's by Victory, Kohler engine. I'm gonna show you how she does. All right, clean and tight start. One pull. You don't even have to pull hard. Right there. Yeah. It's a rear time. Reverse. Reverse handle. Pull up on it. Reverses the blade. Pull out. Go forward. I think the beast is pretty heavy. Kind of awkward. Once you get the hang of it, she'll fly. Here we go. We're rocking now, boys. I love. Ding, ding, pow, wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Eat it right up. We'll climb up this hill. Yeah, it will. And those tires are really strange, but I like them. Got a depth gauge here. Say, how many inches? One and a half inches where it's set. That's exactly what I need. And if you look down here, you can see as this wheel turns, it turns that, and it'll drop those seeds in there, like I need it. Pretty cool. What do you think, Trig? 
it's not a beautiful day huh beautiful absolutely okay I'm gonna try it they guarantee a 50% germination rate which isn't all that good but where I'm spacing the seeds every three inches I'll be able to get I think what I need out of these seeds without ordering because they're really expensive and what I did was bought black oil sunflower seed for birds and the woman in tractor supply says she plants them every year in her garden and they grow so I'm gonna see what comes up in seven to ten days something hung down there and see what it does man it just takes some no time no time getting that ground oh, that's in there cover that up so I'll come out here in 10 days I'm gonna set that on my on my phone 